What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Do you think dreams can... predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Do you think dreams can... predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> weird stuff about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... Ah, uh, never mind. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley, way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse! You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse, uh, for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> hey, Biff. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh... Not enough. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey, Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. 
Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, uh, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Wow, that was sizzling hot, like a melting ice cube. Hey, Dad. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. About Biff, Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. Problem? Biff? He's got this... thing, see? And I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. He found it first, but... Oh. Well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Let's make some noise. Now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit! Uh, Doc, where are you? Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? <laughs> Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. 
report was of the future. Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. This time-traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Marty? Ah! Marty? Ah! What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? 